Stanley. Hello. Hi, Pablo. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be doing some testing. Some testing. What we're going to be testing? We're going to be testing the new camera. Woohoo! Me, you, and us two. Me, no, me, you, and you. You two and me. Me and you two. That's it. So yesterday it started raining, and that rain is due to not stop now till probably next summer. Woohoo! Britain, yes. Anyways, as you can see, it's grim. So that means no outside filming with this camera. However, we can film outside with this. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go for a walk in the rain and we're gonna take this and we're gonna get soaking wet and we're gonna hope it works. And as long as we don't end up in 33 feet with the water, it should be good. <laughs> Hello. Delivery man delivering something for next door but dropped it off here because they're not in. And then he asked me about what car and then he's like, well, I have no you because I spoke to you about your car like last summer and it was all in pieces. I was like, yeah, that was me. So, so just had a 10 minute crack with that guy about cars. Anyways. Oh yeah, we're, we're here. We're gonna unbox this. We'll probably need to charge it up and stuff. We'll take you boys for a walk and then we'll just do a little bit of testing. We'll do a little bit of testing on the house. Um, I need to go out in the car, so we'll do a bit of testing in the car, see if we can get some decent footage, if we can hear and stuff. So rather than me just test it and then start using it, you can come on for the testing and see see what we do. Whoa, what's that, Stan? Okay, do you want this? Okay, good boy. Yeah, what's that, Stan? Battery charger, spare battery. And this whoop, comes in a nice little box. Boom! Oh, wow. Ooh, nice. So we've got a handle, we've got some attachment things, we've got a clip mount, we've got two batteries. And this is what we're all here for the camera. Here it is the Hero 9 Black. I know the 10 has just came up, but like I said, I bought this a long time ago. I just haven't got around to using it. So we shall see. So I get all these batteries charged up and then we'll switch over to that. So three, two, one. Hey -o. Woo! Okay, it is like super dark because it's just miserable outside. Well, here we go. Say hello to the new camera. You say hello to the new... I say hello to the new camera. Obviously, it's going to be much better in the sunlight because that's what it's designed for. Now, there are so many settings on this, and I think this one is probably the best. There are a few more, like this, like, super wide view, which is actually quite handy for stuff like... Like, when I want to show you rooms like this, like my office, I've never been able to show you it in, like, one whole view because... Well, like, look, I can stand here and show you everything, whereas the other camera would zoom in on, like, just this bit here. So you get like this super wide angle. Like you can see everything. So we can do time lapse and show everything. By the way, this is going to be next video. There's a lot of stuff. We we'll went and got some home stuff. We've got this stuff down here. We've still got the clothes and stuff to do. So we'll do a video on all of this stuff. So yeah, there's like, there's loads of settings. So I don't really know which one to pick at the moment. So there'll be a bit of trial and error. Hopefully the audio is okay. It should be okay, but it, hopefully it is. I've also got this. Now this is a little clip. It's also, magnetic so yeah and you're probably thinking what is this useful for well i can do this and you're probably thinking why would you need to do that because then we can do this hello stanley hello are you my best friend are you my best friend hello fella hello fella hi oh look at this little smushy face yeah this is a smushy face yeah Oh, this smushy face. Is this a smushy face? Hello, fella. Big smush. Smushy face. Ah! And we can just... Do, 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 do. We're walking around. Do, 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 do. And because it's magnetic, we can, like, stick it to weird places where we've not had cameras before. So, yeah, they, this should be good. This little grip I got with it as well is floatable. Flo uh, it's... It's a flo it's a flotation device, so if I'm super enough to have it wrapped around my wrist and I drop it in the water, like let's say we go to the beach and I drop it in the water, it'll float, so it won't sink to the bottom, so I can keep my camera safe. So we can do some beach videos and it'll be good. It's going to be a bit cold to go at the moment though, so we won't go at the moment. But we can use it for time lapses. I'm going to take it in the car, I need to go somewhere later, so I'm going to put it in the car and just talk to you guys a little bit about something. But, do you want to go for a walk? 
Do you want to go for a walk? <gasps> Do you want to go for a walk? Now, it has actually stopped raining, which defeated the whole point of this. But we'll see what it's like for wind. We'll see. Ooh. Ooh, do that. That snapped a bit. Okay. It's on this weird movie mode, so it's meant to be like super smooth, but don't know. Does so everyone want to take the camera with me on a walk? This was like the best solution. It was just kind of tucking the camera into a pocket and be hanging, but you risk it falling out and smashing the lens and obviously you got this big microphone on it and it's just big and chunky. It is big and chunky. Now it is very good, but it is big and chunky. Whereas this thing, also it's got a little screen in the front so I can see what I'm actually recording when it goes the other way around, is just, you can... There you go. No one even knows you got a camera, it's just hidden. It's away. Oh. Wah! Yeah, see, it's quite, it's quite good. Walking in the rain, do 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 walking in the rain, do 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 walking in the rain, do 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 walking in the rain. Go on then! Ready, Stan? Ready, Stan? Ready, Stan? Ready, get him! Oh, good boy, Stan. Right, quick! Pablo, where are you going? Meow. He's the speed. So it's not actually raining that much, but still, even if it was just a little bit of drizzle, that'd be enough to not bring the other camera out. So this kind of gives us a bit of an option. Hopefully it's not too windy, but I'm sure we can sort audio out if we need to. It looks very dark, so hopefully you can see me. Doesn't look like it. Oh, good boy, he's pooping again. Fourth poop already. Should we try to slow more out, Pabs? Should we try to slow more out? Yeah. We finished our walk to do to do to do we finished our walk to do to do to do finished our walk to do to do to do muddy feet. Now the walk had to be cut short and before we go out and do the last part of this video and do the last kind of little bit of recording and see what we can do. I just want to have a rant because the walk had to be cut short because of other dog walkers and that's like... Oh, I just went out because that's when my camera was charged and we needed to go. So I just went out. Obviously it was kind of clear when we went out. We got to the park, nobody there. And then once we're at the park we've done like one lap and then loads of dog walkers showed up at the same time because obviously they're all like oh it's clear now so we'll take them out which you should just take them out when they need to go out not because it's convenient to you but never mind and then you've got all the different types of dog walkers there you've got the dog walkers who won't let their dogs off the lead and are just like angry at you because your dog's off the lead and bothering them and then their dogs are trying to run around and chase them but they won't let them off the lead and it's pulling their arms and they get really angry at you and your dog should be on the lead uh and then you've got the other ones with the dogs on the lead that are like, oh no, my dog's aggressive, he'll bite, keep your dogs away. Why, why are both of these types of people at the park where dogs are going to be off the lead? Just walk them on the path like a normal person would if your dog couldn't get off the lead. I don't understand it and it really annoys me. So I had to clip these two back on the leads and then we can't film and then they're just not having a good time because they're on the lead and they want to race around, but they can't race around because they're on the lead and it's just so annoying during covid was worse because you had people then going to the park who never went to the park who don't like dogs and end up going to a dog park and then be like oh there's dogs off the lead oh, they're gonna touch me and they're gonna give me covid why is it so hard to walk a dog in a park this is why we end up just walking on the path the whole time and not going to the park and they don't have race around they don't get interaction with other dogs because other dog owners are just horrible people who won't let their dogs have fun okay run over next part of the video let's go Welcome to the Pablo Wagon Mark II. Now, obviously, if Pablo was sat there, you'd see him. We could also put it on the roof and point in the back, so when they're both in the back, you'll see them. We've got lots of possibilities in here. It's nice and bright, so I can see myself, so that's a good thing. Now, whether you can hear me while we're driving, that's another thing, because this... Because this thing is loud and vibrates a lot. There is something drastically wrong with this car, if you can hear it over the, God knows, 
what other noises you can hear. Like, listen to this. Did you hear that? Something's, something's not right. And it's something to do with the brakes. And that's not good. But we will persist. So where are we going? We are going to speak to somebody about a tattoo. Am I getting a tattoo? Oh my god. No. Maybe. I don't know yet. Possibly. So as some of you may have seen on my arm, I have a birthmark. And it's not the biggest, it's not the worst, but I absolutely hate it. And I've always hated it ever since I was a kid. I had laser surgery on it for two, three years to try and reduce it. Didn't really work. But when it gets towards winter, it starts to go purple and it looks awful. And obviously my skin gets whiter because it's less near summer. And it's absolutely awful and I hate it. So yeah, I want it. I want it kind of gone now. I've lived for it long enough and it doesn't bother me. And then someone will just say, what's that on your arm? Even if you're just out of sheer curiosity and I think about it and I hate it. So I'm going to ask and see if I can cover it up with a tattoo and then I can think about what I want to cover it up with. So that's where we're going. I also need to get some shopping and stuff. So once we've done that, I'll let you know what the crack is and yeah. I was a lot longer than expected, so it got dark, so then I couldn't film. Because I can't film when it's dark and there's no lights. No. So we're back home. I've got to see the little boys. Hi, little fella. Hi, little fe- <gasps> Proper punched us there. I haven't seen any of the footage yet, but hopefully it was good. Hopefully you can hear and it's clear. It's a clear picture, clear sound, because the last one was an okay picture and the sound was god awful from it. But supposedly this one's way better, so fingers crossed. So yeah, that's the thing I'm talking about, which always just sticks perfectly out of a t-shirt. It's always on display. And I know people will be like, it's not that bad, don't worry about it. It's, it's fine and they never even notice it. It doesn't matter. It does not, it, I know, I understand and it bothers me and I can't have it not bother me, it just does bother me and it's something I want to change, something I want to get rid of. So I've tried to not let it bother me. I'm 27 now, it still bothers me, so I'm going to get something done about it. So they can tattoo over it, which is good. Said it shouldn't be an issue as long as we can design something that kind of covers it nicely with shading or whatever it is. The only issue is, for kind of like the thing I'm wanting or like an idea that I'm wanting, it's going to be like... 1500 quid to get it covered to get it which is which is a lot of money so it's winter fortunately so long sleeve tops perfect so maybe next summer we'll we'll think about it but that gives me plenty of time to think of what I can do so first of all give me your thoughts on the camera anything you want done from that like if you want me to walk around on a full walk with a camera here and just have a full POV walk of like 30 minutes and just see exactly what they get up through they get up through through get get up to so from getting like out the car full walk and back in the car what do they do how is it you know what are they like just the whole what if you want to see something like that let me know like, this camera makes it very convenient i can take this anywhere it's super small convenient i can take it out in the rain it gives me loads of options this is also really good for time lapses which we'll use in the next video so any ideas let me know and then also Tattoo ideas. Now, straight away, not getting pugs. I have thought about it before. I thought about getting all three dogs, which would have been a bad idea. But I don't want two dogs on my arm that are alive. I know that sounds like if if Pablo had passed away, yeah, I'd maybe get Pablo. But like, I wouldn't then just want a sleeve of dead dogs on my arm. Yeah, right. I'm just not get. I, I'm staying away from that. Although maybe somewhere integrated into the tattoo, I'll get a little like. The little like, Pablo symbol, you know the little symbol that I might just get that hidden somewhere within it, just as like a little, little nod off. Because at the end of the day, that's they're my life. They're actually my like career life as well. So this whole YouTube thing is because of them, which is fantastic. Anyways, what am I getting at? Um, yeah. Anyways, I'm in a good mood. That's why I'm rambling. Uh, yeah. So if you guys have any thoughts, ideas, throw them out there because something might just click in my head. Of ooh. Actually, maybe not that, but something along them lines. So if you guys have tattoo ideas of sleeves, and let's be fair, it, it's, you know, it, it's basically something along the lines of, 
you know. But I want to involve you guys in every aspect of my life, even stuff that I just talk about and then maybe never get done, this might never happen, I might never do this, but I just want to get you guys involved in kind of my thoughts so you get an idea of more what I am actually like. Now, I haven't told anybody about this. Um, like, my family know I've got this and they know I'm not particularly keen on it, but they, they don't know, so I'm sure after watching this video I'm getting a message off, like, my sister and my mum been like, yeah, what are you doing getting a tattoo? But, yeah, I'm sharing it with you, I'm sharing it with everyone at this particular moment, because that's just how today's went. Obviously, we'll have to see with money and I don't know what I'll be doing next year and I can't commit currently to spending that kind of money on it. So, yeah, that's where we're at. We can put this to good use next video, because we're going to do some time lapse, because we're going to do some, like, housey bitsy botsies. In the house back to normalsies. I said normalsies. Ooh, colour shaped. But as you've seen before, we've got loads of like new home furnishing stuff. We've got obviously this to sort out, which we'll do. That'll have to be a later date, but that will get onto that in the next video. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Sorry I've rumbled on a lot at the end here, but yeah, this is just how I, I am and how you get me. So like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.